Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Canada Post's Senior Vice President of Parcels, René Demeray. Mesdames et messieurs, veuillez accueillir le premier vice-président, colis de Poste Canada, Monsieur René Desmarais. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to Canada Post's E-Commerce Innovation Awards. Je voudrais vous souhaiter la bienvenue à la toute première soirée de remise des prix de Poste Canada pour l'innovation en cybercommerce. Tonight, we're breaking new ground. These are the first national awards exclusively devoted to finding and honoring Canada's best e-commerce entrepreneurs. Yes, absolutely. You know, we are proud to have assembled an outstanding field of finalists. They represent companies both small and large, new and established. The market different kinds of products. Some are brick and clicks, some are online only. Though they are different, they have one thing in common. They share the drive to innovate and excel at linking the product, the customer, and this via the internet. The industry is growing tremendously. The creative, visionary, and clever business minds in this room are the big reason why, and we do have a nice room today. Tonight, we will salute your strategies and celebrate your success. Every finalist has a reason to celebrate. You've got, you've got here by impressing our distinguished guests and beating out strong final entrance, field of entrance. So, félicitations, congratulations to all these finalists, and a nice round of applause to them. I would like to also acknowledge our key sponsors for this event and to make it uh, that they made it this uh, possible. So the first at the diamond level, I'd like to thank SAP. <laughs> at the platinum level, Accenture, Desjardins, Pitney Bowes Canada, and Ford Motor Company of Canada. And finally, at the silver level, all those sponsors who have purchased tables, your generous contribution and support has made this event and evening possible. Please, nice round of applause for all those. Okay. Tonight, we look forward to delivering inspiration and rewards. And to help us do that, I'd like to turn things to, over to our MC, and he is a man who knows all about delivering entertainment, insight, and passion about our national sport. He is one of Canada's best-known sports broadcaster. His outstanding NHL and Olympic coverage has earned him three Gemini Awards, and he is author of the two best of two best-selling books. And he might deliver us a secret of when the next. NHL game will be. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, please welcome Mr. James Duddy. Thank you. Thank you. Merci. Bienvenue tout le monde. Hi, everybody. I am James Duthie, host of the NHL on TSN. Used to be the host of the NHL on TSN when there, when there was an NHL to put on TSN. Now this is pretty much all I got. So if you, Canada Post wants to do this every week for the next six months or so, I am highly available. Or if you have, like, you know, hosting needs, birthday parties, bar mitzvahs, I can do those balloon animals. Man, it's been tough times. I know there's one question everybody wants to ask me tonight. A bunch of people already asked me. How did you get such a chiseled physique? Um, no, everybody wants to know about the lockout. Here's the deal. You may have heard the NHL did make an offer today. Uh, the PA has just announced they're going to take 24 hours to 48 hours to respond to the offer. 
the response will probably be Bleh, which is what basically the way things have gone so far. No, there's progress. This is the first day, honestly, in three months that I felt like we might be playing hockey again within the next three weeks, so that's a good thing. So it's kind of sucked life for me, basically, uh, up to now. Uh, but there are advantages to a lockout. Uh, one, it's, it's mid-October and the Leafs are undefeated. So there, there's, there's that. <laughs> Second, uh, pertaining to this night, I have a much better understanding of e-commerce and your products because, frankly, I have so much freaking time on my hands that I sit home all day and surf the web and buy stuff. That is, and I'm not kidding. Everybody thinks I'm here because of the Olympic hosting and the NHL hosting. I'm actually Canada Post's Parcel Consumer of the Year, so thank you. <laughs> I bought, I, I'll tell you, it started, I bought in September, I bought a big, a flat screen. Are the, the Future Shop people here tonight? Future Shop? Okay, so, thank you. So I bought one of your big 58-inch flat screens for my wall to watch hockey, and now I sit at home in my gaunch uh, watching The View every day, basically. 58-inch <laughs> HD Barbara Walters giant head. It's not pleasant. Um, and I buy a ton of books. Uh, Indigo, is it Indigo people here tonight? I buy a ridiculous amount of books. I, uh, Renee was mentioning, it's a shameless plug, but I did write a couple of books. I got so bored a couple of weeks ago, I bought like 14 copies of my own book so I could see it go up two places on the Indigo bestseller list. <laughs> from like 1743 to 1741. Look, honey. I buy crap I don't even need because uh, Mountain Co-op is here somewhere, Mountain Co-op. You make great stuff. But I, I, frankly, I hate camping. But I bought a tent last week. Yeah, let's buy a tent. I, do, I buy stuff now just to impress the Canada Post delivery man when he comes. <laughs> so he'll show up, he'll be like, here, Mr. Duffy, here's your thing. I'm like, yeah, Carl, that's a, that's a heavy duty winter tent I got. I'm uh, probably headed up north to uh, hunt wolves <laughs> with Liam Neeson. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I watched, I, watched, I watched The Gray on the flight the other day. Liam Neeson was punching wolves. That's, that's all I got. Um, but it's unbelievable where this business has gone and that you can get anything online now. Rent, Frock, Repeat, one of the companies here tonight. Yes. Unbelievable. This is like the greatest thing ever because I get invited to a lot of... I used to get invited to a lot of really cool things when I was actually on TV. And my wife always wants a pretty dress, and you wear it once, and then you go to another thing, and she wants another pretty dress, and pretty soon you're on freaking food stamps. And so you can rent designer dresses for your girlfriend's spouse to come out for a night, rent, frock, repeat, right? Except now I'm not on TV anymore, so I don't get invited anywhere. So I, I still rent the dresses so she can look good on the couch watching The View with me, which is stupid. It'd be like, hey, honey, that Whoopi Goldberg's funny. Is that Vera Wang? So you liked it. <laughs> and I get sucked in too, you know, with those infomercials. TSN shows a lot of those infomercials. Uh, do you, have you heard of the No-No? Have you seen that product, the No-No? Which is some sort of hair, hair, hair laser thing. I got me one of those. And, uh, <laughs> and the Shticky? Have you seen the ads for the Shticky? Vince, Vince conned me into buying the Shticky. But that was embarrassing because I got confused. I got buy so much stuff. And so I used the No-No to remove dog hairs from my rug, and I used the sticky to wax my inner thigh. So that didn't, that was, didn't go well at all. <laughs> uh, you can tell it's, it's been a rough few months, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, it's, it's a real honor to be here tonight. Um, it's an incredible business. Uh, Canada Post has done an amazing job evolving their own business to meet your needs. And so we're here to celebrate that tonight. We have a bunch of awards ahead. We have a fantastic dinner for you. I want to introduce your judges for tonight's awards. Please make note of where they're sitting because you have a limited time to bribe them. <laughs> uh, Jordan Banks is the managing director of Facebook Canada. Jordan is here. There's Jordan Banks. Stand up, Jordan. 
They're making a sequel to The Social Network. The Social Network Goes North, with Jordan's character will be played by Alan Fix. So I don't think it's going to be a very good movie. Denise Chicoin is corporate director. Denise is here. Robert H. Helsley is the dean of the Sauter School of Business at the University of British Columbia. Welcome, Robert. Daryl McMullen is the managing director of PayPal Canada. I know PayPal very well. Jacques Cote is the group president of Physical Delivery Network at Canada Post. There's Jacques. And of course, you already met Rene Desmarais, the senior vice president of parcels at Canada Post. Now, as senior VP of parcels, Mr. Desmarais sees firsthand, as all of you know, the evolving nature of this business, and his team is well positioned and ready to lead Canada Post in that next direction. They're already doing so. What you might not know about Canada Post is that it has already been adapting and changing and evolving, frankly, since Benjamin Franklin started things 249 years ago. Video history lesson. As you can see, uh, amazing adaptation through the times, and I know the world is all e-commerce now, and Canada Post is positioned perfectly to be there for you guys through that. Uh, amazing to me, I know letters are way off. But I still write tons of letters myself. I write like 100 letters a week, all of them to Jennifer Aniston, <laughs> which is what I call supporting our postal service and what technically they call stalking on my restraining order. Uh, I would like to now welcome the President and CEO of Canada Post, Mr. Deepak Chopra. Good evening. Before I talk about uh, this evening, uh, today is the first day of free mail to our troops who are stationed abroad. So we just started the campaign. <laughs> Great. It's an important endeavor that we undertake every year, but 
something that many people don't know. Uh, last year, 45,000 kilograms of, of uh, parcels and gifts were shipped to our troops. So it's a very special time of the year when, when, when we start thinking about holiday season. So uh, it's, it's great to remember them. Um, and we're very excited about tonight, and you can tell from the video a little bit. Uh, but what makes it even more special is some of the greatest brands in Canada have willingly joined our mission to reward and to recognize the e-commerce innovation. And I think that's something very special because we have a spirit in Canada where when we march on a great cause, many other brands, many other leaders just join in and we are very, very delighted and very thankful to them. Uh, and, and living in the shadows of a 800 pound gorilla just, just to the south of us, uh, it's easy to overlook talent right here under our nose. Uh, just as we have contributed to the Canadian society, to the world over the years, I think Canada can contribute equally in the e-commerce revolution. But tonight it's all about Canadian success stories. We're just thrilled to be writing the first chapter of this brand new revolution that is forever going to change the way Canadians shop. The very internet whose arrival was hailed as the declaration of death of the post office has become the catalyst of our rebirth. Canada Post is leveling the playing field for businesses of all sizes. No longer will a small business be left behind in their quest to reach 34 million Canadians. Look at our nominees tonight. On the one hand, we have some of the largest brands, Future Shop, Indigo, Mountain Co-op, and yet we have startups like Charm Junction, Shirt Punch, Trend Trunk, Card Swap, Book Mob, competing side by side on the national stage. That is incredible, that is incredible. Who would have thought that startups will be competing with established companies because the internet has changed the game? And we happen to be at the right time in the right place in history, and I think it's our responsibility to make sure that we recognize and regenerate that opportunity. This remarkable group of finalists have become the pioneers who will inspire many others to leverage the internet to fulfill their dream of starting a new business. I'm particularly thrilled to see business students from Sprott School of Business at Carleton University who are attending this inaugural event. And it's a great opportunity for them to network with startups, establish businesses, and get inspired on the e-commerce revolution. But tonight we want to assure every business that does business with Canada Post and relies on our package delivery that your customers are our customers. We understand that the real moment of truth is when our letter carriers deliver the package that customers are waiting for. You may not see the smile on their face, but we do. You may not see the challenges on their face, but we do. And we take this responsibility very seriously. If a customer is not home, we're just a few minutes away for them to pick up their package at the nearest post office. We know that one in four e-commerce packages are picked up at the retail counters. And 50% of those packages are picked up after 5 p.m. or on the weekends. We know that rural Canadians are shopping twice as much online versus urban Canadians. We know that Alberta and Saskatchewan outpace every other province on online shopping than you would have thought or you would have guessed. These insights are helping us build a more customer-focused Canada Post than ever before, but we're just getting started. I would like to take this opportunity to extend my sincere thanks to the panel of judges who have helped us uncover these remarkable success stories. And on behalf of Canada Post and our board of directors, some of them have joined us this evening, I would like to wish each of the finalists the very best success tonight. As far as I'm concerned, you have already won. Thank you and enjoy the evening. Just before we get to the awards, because that is what we are here tonight, I know Deepak mentioned this in his speech before, but we want to acknowledge once again uh, the students, both graduates and current students from the Sprott School of Business at Carleton University, my alma mater, Ravens. Where are the Sprott people? Go Ravens. I don't even know what this means, but I do it to feel like I'm somehow hip with the kids. 
Uh, some of the finest students uh, that uh, Sprott has, they're here because of what, how they've succeeded in the school and because of their enthusiasm for commerce. Uh, they're the exact type of people that you guys want to hire. In fact, the most creative ones have probably already slipped them your resume. <laughs> and I want to acknowledge as well uh, Assistant Professor Ian Smith, who's an expert in the field of strategic leadership and was really instrumental in gathering this group tonight. Maybe Ian could stand up for us. When I went to Carleton, this is a complete aside, but when I went to Carleton, the sports teams were awful. We sucked. And that was kind of our thing, because it made the journalism students pretty cool, because the jocks were no good. But now you win every year in basketball and all these other things, so it's completely damaged the reputation of Carleton in my mind, because now the journalism students are all geeks again. <laughs> but anyway, congrats to you guys, and thanks a lot for coming. Okay, uh, we're about to get the awards underway, but uh, we want to talk about the prizes because they are largely significant. The value of tonight's prizes totals over one billion, one million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> uh, and they're the types of prizes that businesses like yourselves really want and really need. So we're talking about amazing marketing opportunities, huge shipping, and direct marketing rewards. So specifically, Tonight's large business winners will receive $100,000 worth of parcel shipping, $50,000 worth of direct mail, and a $20,000 marketing real estate prize package. It's here for money. It's here for money, everyone. Tonight's small business winners will receive $10,000 worth of parcel shipping, $10,000 of direct mail, and a $20,000 marketing real estate prize package as well. <laughs> On top of that, and this is how, this is why we get the Ron Burgundy reputation. This is how dumb I am, because when I first read this, it said, the winner in each category will receive a Canada Post truck. And I thought that was odd, because I, I thought you'd actually get one of those little Canada Post trucks that you'd be driving your kids to soccer with and stuff. <laughs> I literally thought that for two minutes until uh, I was, it was explained to me that you'll receive a Canada Post truck wrapped in your logo in the market of your choice so it will drive around all over the place with your brand all over it. So a ton of free advertising in that as well. Every winner of every single award gets that tonight. Okay, let's get to it. Our first category tonight is Large Multi-Channel Retailer of the Year. So in this category, we find companies whose customers want to browse, research, compare, buy, ship to wherever, and return trouble-free, whether they're online, in-store, or both. For these companies, staying on top means offering it all fast, easy, and at terrific prices. So your finalists are... Future Shop. What does e-commerce mean to Canada's premier electronics company? Speed. Working with Canada Post, Future Shop processes orders on Sundays and offers shipping before 1 p.m. Flexibility. Dedicated retail space enables e-customers to easily pick up online purchases in store. And mobile optimized websites lets customers shop using any device. Ultimate convenience. The first streamlined futureshop.ca store will debut this fall. It will cater solely to the buying and shipping needs of e-shoppers. Buying high-tech gear just got simpler. Indigo Books and Music. How does Canada's largest seller of books and lifestyle products succeed in an electronic world? by using the latest technology to make it more relevant than ever. Sleek in-store kiosks help customers locate products in stock and order those that aren't. A unique interface tailored for mobile devices simplify on-the-go shopping. The little things matter too. A new buy online, ship free to store option serves the flexible needs of e-customers. Thanks to Indigo, books have never been so cutting edge. Mountain Equipment Co-op. For 41 years, Mecca supplied its members with the gear they need to have the adventures they desire. 
It's still doing that, only better. MEX Ship From Store initiative means e-customers get their products faster. At its store of the future in North Vancouver, staff members carry iPads connected to high-definition wall-mounted TV screens, giving customers in-store access to detailed product information from the MEC website. Because when you need an avalanche-ready backpack, you want to make sure it's the best one your money can buy. I'd like to invite Mr. Chopra back to the stage to present tonight's first award. I'd also like to ask Mark Aboud, who's the president of SAP Canada, to come to the stage to announce the winner. And we'd like to... Present the winners in very typical Canada Post fashion. <laughs> Mountain Equipment Co-op. brought my glasses. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, just before I start, I just wanted to comment that uh, I'm disappointed to hear Mr. Duthie doesn't like camping, and I'm thinking it might be because he's tried it at the wrong time of year, so I'd like to invite you on a winter camping trip if you're up for it. Uh, it's no. a lot of fun, and if you think you'd have a good time, bring a friend, and if you think you don't have a good time, then bring someone you don't like. <laughs> uh, so, uh, on behalf of MEC, I'd like to thank you uh, for this wonderful award. MEC's Store of the Future concept was a big uh, step for Canada's largest outdoor retailer. We wanted to bridge the gap between traditional bricks and mortar retailing and MEC's fast-growing e-commerce program. The perfect opportunity arose when we were planning our new, new store in North Vancouver, which opened in June 2012. We outfitted it with the latest wireless technology, Apple iPads, and high-def high big screens connected to Apple TVs. Along with that, our website was greatly enhanced to work with those iPads, giving our staff even greater ability to service our members. Thank you. I'd be happy to take it. All right, I'd love to. I'm going to take you up on that offer, and I want to bring uh, Kate Upton, if you can, <laughs> she's available. Our next category is Small Multi-Channel Retailer of the Year. Uh, now these companies really perform the ultimate balancing act, striving to perfectly allocate their limited resources so both channels work to boost the brand. It's a constant challenge that they must overcome. Here are your finalists. Okay, Supremacy. Breaking into the ultra-competitive business of hockey equipment sales is no easy task. Mais en tant que récent recrue québécoise, Hockey Supremacy a su se démarquer grâce à son magasin en ligne très convivial. Thanks to its easy-to-navigate online store, shoppers earn loyalty crowns with every purchase. Those loyalty crowns get translated into virtual currency. That virtual currency lowers the price of future purchases. Les clients sont certainement de la partie, surtout quand vient le temps de se procurer de l'équipement haut de gamme, à haute performance et à très bas prix. Top end, high performance gear for way less. Hockey supremacy, creating the ultimate online fan base. Nilsig Paintball. It started four years ago as a part-time basement company. 
Today, it's Canada's leading supplier of paintball, survival training, and military simulation products. What does this team credit its success to? Investing in e-commerce software, which reduced processing and shipping times. Analyzing the geographical distribution of its global customers, which sharpened its marketing campaigns. Studying customer surfing patterns, which helped it better serve shoppers. In other words, a true military-style approach to logistics. Milsig Paintball, hitting all targets. Rent Frock Repeat. It started with a great business concept. Shop the world for the best designer dresses, then rent them to customers for 15 to 20% of the price. It could have been the best little boutique in Toronto. Instead, the Rent Frock Repeat team got web savvy. By making the dresses available online, these trendsetters are serving anyone in Canada with a mailbox. Prepaid return packages streamline the e-process. Just over a year in business, 20,000 members are rent frock repeating with ultimate ease and style. I was just thinking, like tonight's about getting together and ideas and I'm a TV guy. If you could get like models in designer dresses and get them playing paintball for a show, <laughs> I would watch that. I would host that. Uh, can I have Jacques Cote, the group president of Physical Delivery Network at Canada Post to the stage, please? I'd also like to have Michael Denham, the managing director of Accenture Canada, to join us on stage to announce the winner. and our Canada Post delivery person. Good job, bud. And the winner, small company category for best multi-channel retailer of the year is Rent Frock Repeat. Here you go. Congratulations, ladies. Take a photo. When you come up here, introduce yourselves for us before you speak. everyone. My name is Lisa DeLorme, co-founder and CEO. I'm Christy Weaver, co-founder and president. <laughs> <laughs> We're very excited. Um, it means a lot to us because as a small business in Canada, this kind of support uh, from Canada Post means a lot. Uh, we want to recognize all of them, the judges. Thank you very much. Uh, we want to acknowledge the fellow nominees. We have perused your website. We're stealing a lot of ideas. <laughs> Um, and we'd also like to uh, thank our team of one, Carly Foy, who's with us tonight. Uh, we're a big team member. We've got three members. So uh, <laughs> we thought we'd answer uh, the three burning questions that you have this evening. Yes, we ship right across Canada. For all the gentlemen in the room, yes, we do sell um, gift cards. <laughs> and yes, we are looking for investors. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. And yes, we don't know, only the judges know the winners tonight, so maybe I can just ask all the winners when they come to the podium to introduce themselves. Category number three, large online retailer of the year. So for these retailers, providing a first-rate virtual experience is crucial to their success. They must not, uh, not only deliver a terrific product, but every click and screen touch has to deliver trust, speed, 
and supreme satisfaction. Here are your finalists. Beyond the Rack. This online retailer offers top designer brand fashions, accessories, beauty, electronics, and home decor products for up to 80% off retail price. Shopping events are limited time, typically lasting just two days. Membership is free. A smart approach to logistics has helped turn Beyond the Rack into one of Canada's fastest growing businesses. Top-notch e-commerce software enables the team to pre-sort orders in-house and reduce costs. When you're shipping over 300,000 parcels a month around the world, it's an investment that matters. Beyond the Rack, going beyond expectations. ClearlyContacts.ca, Canada's largest online retailer of glasses and contacts. Without expensive overhead, Clearly Contacts can undercut the costly competition. But how do you inspire Canadians to buy eyewear online? Offer up a free pair of glasses. The first pair free e-initiative catapulted to success thanks to a viral marketing strategy rooted in social media. In just one year, the first pair free Facebook page delivered two billion impressions. It helped the company snag 5% of market share from its well-established competitors. Clearlycontacts.ca the visionary way to buy eyewear. Well.ca, Canada's largest online health, beauty and baby store. Its shipping policy boosted the brand initially. But the launch of North America's first QR code virtual store skyrocketed it into orbit. During April, 120 products went on virtual display outside a major subway station in downtown Toronto. Using mobile devices, shoppers scanned codes, entered shipping information, and completed their purchases. And purchase they did. The virtual store smashed all sales projections on well.ca. Well.ca, proving that Canadians are eager to embrace mobile commerce. Great stuff. I was just reading the, the tagline for well.ca, Canada's largest online health, beauty, and baby store. That's, that's unreal. You can buy babies online? <laughs> I, I knew you could do that in Romania and stuff, but that's unreal. I'm going to get me some babies. I'll now invite Carrie Monroe, the Group President of Digital Delivery Network at Canada Post, to the stage, and Lucien Saint-Amand, Vice President of Banking Services at Desjardins, who will announce our winner. And the winner is well.ca. Wow, thank you very, very much. I, I guess that first of all, I'd like to thank Canada Post because so often we talk in e-commerce about the things that we haven't done in Canada. So I think this is a really great opportunity to talk about the things that we have. And wow, in our category, how many clearly contacts with their free glasses and beyond the rack and all the amazing things that they've done. Wow, we've done a lot this year in e-commerce and I think that that's a really exciting thing to celebrate. And for our little company, which started quite honestly with a guy working in the closet of his father's pharmacy selling things off the shelf, we've grown to be 120 people over the last four years and we're so incredibly proud. 
And thank you so very much for honoring that. We're very, very, very appreciative. Thanks a lot. I don't want too whiny a baby, just like a, if you can get me a quiet one. <laughs> Our next category is Small Online Retailer of the Year. Uh, for these companies, creatively tapping an unfilled niche is the essential ingredient for attracting customers, followed by an amazing website to keep them coming back. Your finalists are. Book Mob. It rents, sells, and buys back college and university textbooks. In the process, this online retailer is disrupting the entire industry. It's not surprising. After all, what's a cash-strapped student to do? Buy a $100 bookstore copy of Basic Thermodynamics or rent it for $15 a semester? While they may not know how it works, customers benefit from BookMob's dynamic algorithm-based pricing model. It calculates the best price at the time of purchase, keeping costs low and BookMob's margins strong. Now that's an A+. CharmJunction.ca This online retailer is exclusively devoted to selling Pandora jewelry. Pandora's signature pieces make it one of the most recognizable jewelry brands in the world and those who wear it form a community distinguished by style. So it's fitting that Charm Junction chose community to drive its online store. E-shoppers will find a place to share stories and swap photos of their own stylish creations. Videos offer customers tips for maximizing the jewelry's potential and introduce newbies to its unique features. CharmJunction.ca it's building business by constructing community. Trend Trunk, Canada's online marketplace for buying, selling, and donating fashionable and pre loved clothing and accessories. At Trend Trunk, Canadians get to cash in their closets, while price minded fashionistas shop more styles than any bricks and mortar store can offer. The process couldn't be simpler. Sellers receive prepaid, pre-addressed shipping labels, which means no calculations or paperwork. Buyers receive a tracking number, plus they get notified when their item is about to arrive. That means no guesswork. Trend Trunk, high on style, low on hassle. Exact opposite of my own personal motto, which is low on style, high on hassle. Uh, may I have Jacques Cote back to the stage and Bill Mackerel, the general manager of Pitney Bowes Canada, to announce our winner in the small online retail of the year. Okay, and this year's winner of Best Online Retailer of the Year, Small Business, CharmJunction.ca. Yes, the, the folks from Charm Junction cannot be here tonight, so we graciously accept the award on their behalf. Actually, I will and take all the rewards as well from that. Congratulations to them. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this now. <laughs> um, now, where are we at here? Number six. Ah, no, number five. Our next category is best new e-business. So a major challenge, of course, for any startup is raising the necessary capital to acquire enough inventory. Uh, these finalists found innovative ways around that challenge, creating media and consumer buzz in the process. Your finalists. Cardio. 
CardSwap, Canada's online destination for buying, selling, and donating gift cards. Surveys say one in four gift cards never get used. That's one billion dollars worth of wasted good intentions. Enter CardSwap. On its site, sellers can unlock up to 90% of the cash trapped in unwanted gift cards. While buyers can score the cards they really want and save on gift cards to all their favorite stores. So if you're a vegetarian who just received a gift card for a steakhouse, no problem. It's card swap to the rescue. Shirt Punch. It sells exclusive limited edition pop culture apparel and accessories with a twist. Two designs are sold every 24 hours. Then they're replaced with two entirely new designs. Once retired, designs are never sold again. This way, Shirt Punch can reduce overhead and create buzz, even among celebrities. Ricky Gervais and Kevin Smith have helped develop designs while Michael J. Fox and Will Wheaton have promoted them. Now licensing deals with CBS, Garfield and Coke means products based on their brands are on the way. Shirt Punch. Limited editions. Limitless potential. Trend Trunk. For the Trend Trunk team, collaborative consumption isn't a passing fad, it's a lifestyle. So it's built sustainability into the business model. At this online marketplace, socially minded trendsetters can reduce their fashion footprint. They can also donate all or a portion of proceeds to any registered Canadian charity or nonprofit group. Trend Trunk, where shoppers can feel good about looking good. If I could get Deepak Chopra back to the stage and would also invite Diane Craig, the president and CEO of Ford, to announce our winner. And the winner for the best new e-business, Shirt Punch. This is amazing. We started this less than a year ago, and everybody said that this was crazy and that this would never work. And now here we are, 365 days later. No sleep, I've never worked harder in my life, and everyone who said it couldn't be done, I'm sorry, but it can be done. This is like an Academy Award, so I gotta thank people now. <laughs> my parents are here, which is awesome. They made me, and they helped me with this. That's great. My business partners are here, Loudon and Eric, I couldn't have done this without you. Um, anybody who's ever helped, this is amazing, this is the craziest thing ever. Canada Post, you guys have no idea what this is. And I gotta thank Brendan Haverstock and Derek Campbell from Canada Post. If everybody, if every company had employees like them, it would be amazing. Thank you honestly so much from the bottom of my heart. I love everybody in here, thank you. Thanks. Russ Monaghy. How'd it be, Russ? I think Mr. Shirt Punch was into the punch a little bit tonight. <laughs> punch Drunk will be his new company. <laughs> uh, congratulations, terrific stuff. We're getting down to the last two categories here, and the good news is that all of tonight's finalists are up for these last two. The first one is Outside the Box, Achievement Award, presented to the company whose innovative approach to e-commerce made the biggest impression on our judges. Once again, all of the finalists.
So if I could get Carrie Monroe back to the stage, and I will ask John Ferguson, the President and CEO of SCI Group, to come to the stage. SCI is part of Canada Post Group and is one of the country's top logistics firms. Retail of, is one of its three areas of expertise. And here we go with the award. Okay, the winner of the Outside the Box Achievement Award is Well.ca. of something to say once so this is a huge shock for us and we're again just so incredibly honored and I guess that um, talking a little bit about the project that we did this year and um, what we tried to do we really tried to inspire Canadians about what the future of shopping could be and I guess that this is a little bit about that in the same way about this particular award ceremony thinking about what e-commerce can be and we really tried to let Canadians see what their mobile phone could be and how that could be used as a new shopping vehicle. So I guess that this really just points to the fact that Canadians are ready for that. And we're so excited for the next kind of five years to see what all the people in this room are going to be able to do with e-commerce and where it's going to grow. And it's just really exciting. So congratulations to everybody here. Thanks so much. Congratulations again. So here we go. This is the final award of the evening, which would sort of be the Canada Post e-commerce awards equivalent of best picture. So uh, to present our award tonight, this is exciting, George Clooney and Julia Roberts. <laughs> that would have been awesome. Um, so we had a two-week online poll. <laughs> we like I did this. Uh, Canadians had the chance to vote for their favorite e-commerce retailer and vote they did 17,576 votes from almost 14,000 of your customers. Over 1.2 million Canadians were reached by the direct efforts of the 14 finalists tonight. So give all yourselves a hand. Some of the things you guys did, one finalist completely reskinned their Facebook cover photo with a picture of their employees on a Canada Post truck. Uh, others created Vote Now online posters with catchy taglines such as, we're up against the big boys. So you all went all out and we appreciate that. The winner of tonight's Consumer Champion Award received the most of these votes. As we show the logos one more time, I will welcome Mr. Chopra back to the stage and Marc Courtois, Chairman of Canada Post Board of Directors, to announce the winner of the Consumer Champion Award. Uh-oh, the winner is Shirt Punch. I didn't write a speech the first time, so I certainly don't have a speech for this, but uh, 
This is amazing. You know, I, I'm not married and I don't have kids. And most people say those are the two best days of your life. So I'm going to say this is easily <laughs> the best day. And I'll reiterate, I'm not married. I'm single. I'm table 13, ladies. <laughs> I just won two awards, if that bumps my appeal. But uh, no, seriously, um, I, listen, I would consider myself a geek or a nerd, and that's what I've always been into. And, 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 and you know, growing up, everybody kind of makes fun of you for that if you're not into the typical things. But no one's going to make fun of this now. This is unbelievable. I, we, we did it. Yes! Awesome job. New tagline for Shirt Punch. We use our awards to solicit chicks. <laughs> It'll work. Uh, so that concludes tonight. Uh, congratulations to all the award winners. Congratulations to all of the finalists, to all of you tonight. I'm an idiot when it comes to this stuff, but I was amazed by everything that you guys have accomplished. And uh, congrats to Canada the Post for the way they've reinvented their business in such a positive way. Um, it was an honor to be part of this. I'm available any, pretty much any night of the week. <laughs> we got other stuff. Uh, before I turn things over to Mr. Demet, just for his closing remarks, uh, when he's done, if we could get everybody up to the stage, all of the winners, to bring your awards to the stage for a group photo. So thank you so much. Have a great night. We'll see you when hockey comes back. Pray for me. What I learned from the people from Search Pun uh, Shirt Punch is uh, embracing the president and the chairman of Canada Post. For a new guy coming on Canada Post, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> so uh, on closing remarks, I'd like to thank all of you for coming here tonight. I think we had just an absolutely wonderful night. A great congratulations to both the finalists, all the finalists were absolutely great, and the winners. Félicitations à tous nos finalistes ainsi qu'à tous nos gagnants. Merci euh, surtout à tous pour votre présence pour cette belle soirée tout à fait magnifique. Hey guys, we were truly, truly inspired by all of your work. We are just scratching the surface of the e-commerce. We're just at the beginning uh, here in Canada. And there is much room, much room for us, all of us, to, to grow. It is up to your creativity and your ideas and the willpower that of the growth that will inspire more Canadians to take notice. We here at Canada Post are committed to helping you grow too. We are committed in helping you achieve all of your goals. And we are committed in helping you to set even higher goals. Once again, I'd like to thank our sponsors for contributing to this evening, you made it such a success. It has turned out to be a fantastic celebration of all the Canadian e-commerce. To all of you, a special invitation to this award again next year. I think we had so much fun tonight, and it was such a great group of people and in attendance. So thank you very much to all of you, and good evening.